hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making this two beautiful hair bonnet so first we'll start by folding our material into two then we are going to be folding it again into another two making it four so the next thing we are going to do is to mark out 15 inches all round because this is the wideness of the hair bonnet but if you want yours bigger than this you can increase the number so we are going to be marking 15 inches all around after that we're going to be connecting the lines together then we get our scissors and cut it off so we are going to be repeating this same procedure in another fabric we're going to be folding it into four then we are going to be placing the black material to cut out the next one we are going to be using to sew this hair bonnet so guys you can see i chose a really beautiful color yellow and black really goes very well but sometimes i just think the color matters because color combination is very important so next thing we are going to be joining the two shiny parts together because that is where i want to be at the front so we are going to be hugging them together then we are going to be sewing with half an inch all around but we're going to be leaving like two inches allowance that we're going to use to turn it in after sewing and we will go to machine to sew it all round so guys as you can see we have sewed it already so the next thing we are going to do is to take our scissors and cut the edges of the fabric just to have this flat look even if you don't have light when you do this is manageable but i'm still going to iron it because i wasn't just okay with what i saw after turning it in so after turning it in i went on to iron it so next what i'll be doing is by bringing in the next fabric we are going to be using for the other hair bonnet so the first fabric is 15 inches and this one is 13 inches you can see the two inches allowance will be using to put the elastic so next we are going to be marking out one inch one inch because that is the size of our elastic we are going to be marking out one inch all around and for the other one we'll be marking 1.5 inches because of that ruffles at the front we're going to be marking 1.5 inches all around because the elastic we are going to use on this one is like half an inch so after marking this all around we are going to be marking the next line where we are going to be putting our elastic you can see that the elastic is half an inch so we are going to go back to our fabric then we are going to mark half an inch all round but this particular line is going to close up it's not going to have any two inches space so we are going to be marking it all round because that's where our elastic is going to be so guys we are finally done next thing is to move on to our machine and sew all the lines that we have just marked
So after sewing, it's not time for the elastic. So my head circumference is 22 inches, but I'm going to be using 18 inches because I don't want it too tight or too loose. I just want it to be on my head. So we are going to be using the same inches in both elastics. So the next thing we'll do is to get a pin and attach it to the elastic and also hook it on one side of the material the other side of the elastic is going to go through the uh, one inch allowance we created earlier so we are going to put this all around and let it come out in the other side So guys, the two elastics are out. We are going to go to our machine and then stitch it together. So I went ahead in bending it again and I stitched it. So next thing I'm going to do is to close up the space and I'm going to be running a thread on top of this area. And that will be the end of this particular bonnet. So guys, you can see I've stitched it up very easy very fast this bonnet is ready so next we are going to be moving on to the second one all we have to do is to repeat the same process how we put the pin and the elastic but you know this other hole is tinier so we are going to go through it all around and then when the elastic is out we are going to be closing it just like the way we did in the previous one but the way we are going to end this one is different from the other one so you can see that i've stitched it off so next thing i'm going to do now is to sew on the other line on this line to secure the elastic Yes, that's what we're going to do next. And after that, we're going to be running a thread on top of this place to close it up finally. So as you can see, guys, our second hair bonnet is ready. So I'm going to be displaying this on a mannequin head to show you how it looks. I hope this video was helpful. Please comment, subscribe, and see you all in my next video. Bye.